Hey, are you looking to query some data, but you don't know that pesky T SQL and Python? It might as well be a four letter word to you. Well, don't you worry in Microsoft Fabric, I got you covered with this amazing new thing called visual queries. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to show it to you. Before we head over to my desktop, I want you, my name is Chris Wagner. I'm here at Kratos BI. I'm here to help you learn how to do all sorts of crazy stuff inside Microsoft Fabric. From data engineering to data analytics to data science, I'm here to help you become a data god yourself. All right? So make sure that you like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that alarm bell, share this out to your friends and family. Like, heck, set your dog up to start watching. My dog Dax loves it. I don't know what his problem is, but like he loves this stuff nearly as much as I do. So uh, it'd be great to see you guys here. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I have a, a, a data warehouse inside Fabric and I need to write a query and I just don't know what the heck or how to do that. All right, so I was told it's inside of my data warehouse. So I'm gonna head over into my workspace and I'm gonna to go to where that data warehouse happens to be, all right? Now, I know that it's available. What am I doing here? Here we go. All right, I've got my Learn Live demo, and if you didn't see my Learn Live experience, link down below. Uh, you can check out the whole demo on how to get stood up and working inside of data warehouses and Fabric. But for now, I'm just gonna head in and I'm gonna open this guy right up just by clicking on the data warehouse icon, okay? Once I'm in, I'm gonna see, it's gonna land on my first table here, which has got my, you know, the tables I have in my data warehouse, uh, and I'm gonna see the, the results of it, okay? Up on the top bar, I've got a number of different options. First one being refresh a table, right? So it'd be refreshing something. We've got settings that we could go in and uh, look about look at what, what the name of this data warehouse is, description, what the SQL connection string is. So if I'm like in Management Studio or just any old tool that can connect to a SQL server, I can go and I can use this to connect into it. I've got a sensitivity label. I've got endorsements. Like, is this like an ad hoc thing like right? it is? Or is this my certified enterprise data warehouse that I could be using, right? In this case, it's none. Yeah, we're gonna take away that certifi certificate. And then am I gonna automatically have a default Power BI semantic model? I have that on right now. But you don't care about that. You just wanna create a measure or you wanna do a new query. If I go in and say new query, and I'm just met with this command line. I just, I don't know what to do with this, right? Like it's like, well, where would I even start? There's nothing here. I don't know. Do I have to like type stuff in? Um, if you want, you can watch my other videos on T-SQL. This will get you started in writing your own queries. It's really simple. But for now, we're going to go with the whole, like, I don't know how to do this thing. All right. So instead of a SQL query, we're going to click on new visual query. All right. So to start dragging, we're gonna do exactly what it says. To build a query, drag your tables here. All right, I'm gonna drag my fax sales order. All right, I've got that loaded, and then I'm gonna drag in my uh, dim product. All right, so I've got those all brought together. Simple enough as it is, but I'm really only seeing my, my bar down here. Now, I could do something here that's super cool I've got all sorts of stuff here now. I just want to focus in on my query experience. I don't want to like do more than that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little like square in the corner here and watch this magic. Boom. Oh, <gasps> now I've got my full like experience for like Power Query and I'm up and I'm ready to go here. I should really change that like box to the Power Query icon. Um, uh, yeah, just you know, big shout out to Alex Powers. He's the guy who showed me this. Um, but now I can easily go in and I can work with this and I can make different changes to it. So, uh, oh, wait a minute, where's my plus? Oh, that's weird. A little different UI. So if I do the plus here, 
I can do uh, a merge query. So I can bring them together into something new. So I could say merge queries. And I want uh, the, 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 the main table is going to be my fact order sales. And the right table for the merge is going to be my dim product. Okay. So how am I going to join them? I'm going to select my product key and my product key. This is basically going to create a join for me here. All right. Now I'm going to click on OK. And boom, look at that. I've got my query is starting to be put together here. So I can see I've got all my sales order information down here. Now I want some stuff from my DEM product table. So I'm going to click on my little button here. And I have that expand collapse button allows me to choose what values do I want to be bringing out of my product table. So I don't want everything. I want to be bringing out my uh, product name, my product category, and my list price. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. Boom, my query is going to run. Uh, oh, now I have it right here. Now, I've got a few options with this. I can continue to go and uh, make modifications. I could choose some uh, different columns. Like I could go in and say, you know what? I don't want to necessarily have these other keys in here. They don't add a value. I could take those out, right? I could uh, keep some top rows, keep duplicates, or you know, remove some columns. Uh, maybe I want to append something to it or do a group by got lots of different options that I can do inside of here. But for now, I'm going to show you what you can do with the results. I have a few options. First things first, I can click on visualize results. When I visualize results, I'm going to get a Power BI pane. It's just going to come up and I can start building my Power BI report right on top of this query. Okay, so this is your classic Power BI report that's got my visual query right here. So I could just do, you know, show me my uh, quantity, show me my sales total, break it out by category and by product name. And we're going to put this into a matrix. And I want to have it. I don't want a product name like that. I'm going to build it like this. So now I can expand in and see the different items. Oh, this is just. To me, this is just amazing stuff, right? I could copy paste. Look at that. I could change it to a bar that has drill down capabilities, right? So I could you know, see what the values are or I could drill down into it. Oh, isn't that impressive, right? And then I have the option. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side. Let me move over. Ah, I have the option to save this as a report. So I could call this my uh, visual query report and I could share this out to other people as, as something that is, you know, content that is available to them. Now that got saved as it's, as, as its own report, but I've got other options here. Number one, I can go in and I can, or that was number one was visualized results. I can also choose download Excel file. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see this. Yeah. I'm gonna open it with Excel. Always. What do you open Excel with? Excel, All right? Now, watch this. When this pops up, I need to hit Enable Editing. Come on, don't be like that. Enable Content. And what's happening is Excel's making a connection over to this visual query. And look, it's going to run the query that I, I put together in the visual query. So I just hit Run. And I have to go in, I have to choose my Microsoft account. So I'm going to say sign in. I'm going to pick my account and hit connect. Boom. Now I've got a table that is pulling from my warehouse that goes into my Excel file that I can refresh as much as I want. So I don't have to be worrying about like building or a repaginated report out in Excel or out in, in Power BI. I can just use this Excel file that's connected over to my fabric warehouse. And then this can be the, my, my, uh, my, my report that I'm working with. Right. So I, you know, this is just Excel, right? So, okay, great. Now let's go in, let's add in some columns, right. Or some rows. Let's, let's call this my, uh, 
Order detail report. Reports, right? Again, it's Excel, so, you know, merge and center. Expand it up. Too big. A little bit more. Too big. Let's add in some colors. Boom. Boom. Amazing. Now I can just save this, share this with people. Then as long as they have access to this set, they can refresh it. If they don't have access to the data warehouse, they can't refresh it. They just have that static report. So like you can use that and, and, and share that around. So if you need to send an Excel file to someone, there you go. You've got it. Now, the last thing you can do inside of here is you can click on save as table. What this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take this query and I'm going to turn this into a table that is captured inside your data warehouse for other people to use. So if you've created something that's, that's fantastic and you want this to be captured and kept uh, as a static snapshot of the data, you can do that just by creating, you know, your, your uh, just by creating this new tape, this new table. So snapshot table demo. All right. And, oh, look at this. I can also do this. This is good. This is a cheat. I'm going to show you something. This is awesome. I'm going to say copy to clipboard. I'm going to say, okay. And this is going to run and it's going to create that table. And now, if I hit refresh on the page, refresh, F5, in future versions, you won't have to hit F5. But boom, look at that. How about them apples, huh? Here is the table that I just created as part of that visual query. Isn't this amazing? Now, if I go down and I see that visual query... Here's a visual query that I created, All right? And this is this is the one we just created. It's it's available for us. We can use it. We can still come back and take a look at it. Now, one thing you can also do is you can go in and rename this one and call this one uh, like snapshot query, All right? And hit rename. So now I have that snapshot query that I can I can go back to and use. But I can also do this, and this is secret. If I click on the ellipses, I can move it to my shared queries. And now everyone in my team has access to the snapshot queries. So everyone who works in here in this data warehouse can come in and take advantage of that snapshot queries view. But wait, we're not done. Remember, I, I clicked copy on that query. Well, now watch this. I could say new SQL query. And I have the option of saying new query, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something cool here. I'm gonna say view. Now look at what I have here. I have the SQL syntax for creating a view. So a view is created by create view dbo dot and this is the view name. And then it's just a query underneath this. Well, I don't need as select star from some table or view. Watch this. Paste. There is, oh, this is ah, this is the create table statement. I don't want that. I want the select from inside of that, all right? So now I've got, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, my bad. So the as has to be at the start. So we're going to hit enter, paste. We got to remove that create table. And remove that outer and that ending, that those two brackets there. And now I have a view. It's going to be my VW snapshot table. All right. What When I hit run, now check this out. So I've got my snapshot table. This is what it looked like exactly when I ran it. This is all the values that's captured here. It's static. It, it's right here. But check this out. I now have my my snapshot view is right here. And this, this is an object that I can use in other queries and in other reports. Uh, so like I could even, you know, uh, well, I could, you know, this is, I could query this, I could put it in a report. But 
every time those underlining tables inside my warehouse update, this these, this data here is going to update. So I don't have to worry about updating stuff or doing anything else. That query is still actively usable by me or anyone else in my team. So let's say I have a pageant report or I have that Excel file and I want people just using that one object, that one view object. I can, I can do that with the select star of this table. And look at that. You can even like click on the view, new, new query, say select top thousand. It's going to give me, the, it's going to write a query for me, right? So select top thousand or select 100 of the items. I could modify this, delete it, and then I could put that into an Excel file or put it into, uh, you know, its own visual as well. So super easy, amazing functionality that we just have at our fingertips. Oh, now I'm bouncing all around. All right, so what'd you think? Was that useful for, to you? Did you know you had all of those capabilities within visual queries? I I was honestly blown away. I was really blown away by that like magnify thing. A uh, little different interface, but you know, if you're looking for like the whole Power Query thing, it's straight up Power Query right there. So uh, how awesome is that, right? Well, if you got anything out of this video, and I hope you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn the alarm bell, share this to people, let people know that you too can become a data god, right? Have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.